Although USB 3.0 has picked up at a much faster pace, Thunderbolt has slowly but surely gained traction with more and more peripherals and host devices. Now that Thunderbolt is breaking into the PC market as well as Mac, we're starting to see more Thunderbolt equipped devices and more reasonable pricing levels. Here we have two of Buffalo's offerings from the very few external portable drives that bring both USB 3.0 and Thunderbolt together. Welcome to Ifty's Tech Corner, where today we're looking at the Buffalo Mini Station portable hard drives. Initial adoption for Thunderbolt was very slow because most of the earliest Thunderbolt peripherals were really aimed at such a higher end market, and some of it was purely because of both the size and engineering constraints involved with the first generation Thunderbolt controllers. The other reason is that selling external storage isn't always the most valuable prospect as shoppers expect competitive pricing and generally know the cost of the drive inside. Thankfully, second generation Thunderbolt controllers with smaller size and lower cost are now the norm and at the same time Apple has unleashed more Macs with the interface as well as some PC motherboard manufacturers, meaning that there's a bigger captive market of potentially interested shoppers. The Buffalo Mini Station range of drives are the very first portable solution that incorporate both USB 3.0 and Thunderbolt, so it caters for both platforms and hence a larger target market. So far the main player was the Seagate GoFlex adapter which, let's face it, isn't the neatest solution. The Buffalo Mini Station comes in several flavours, differentiated only in storage size. There's a 1TB version for around $200 and a 500GB version at around $160, which is what I have here. The only difference is the drive you get inside. Both include Thunderbolt and USB 3.0. Buffalo has also opted to include both the USB 3.0 and Thunderbolt cables with both mini stations. Prior drives require the separate purchase of a Thunderbolt cable, which costs around $50 alone, making the overall package here much more affordable. Considering both interfaces can pump data rates much higher than the hard drive within can possibly supply, we also have the SSD options available for even faster performance. No matter which flavour you opt for, thanks to the ultra-fast interfaces, you should be looking at the same speeds from these external solutions that you would achieve if the drive was installed internally on a SATA 6 gigabit per second controller. We'll test these later. For now, let's get stuck in and see what comes in the box. Now both the SSD and the hard drive versions come with the same box contents, there's nothing different in between both except for the drive that's inside obviously. So we have a plastic packaging here which we can remove and we have the drive itself, we'll take a closer look at that in just a moment. Underneath some more plastic packaging we have both the USB 3.0 cable as well as the Thunderbolt cable. Uh, both are quite short cables obviously because it's a portable drive so you don't want to carry long cables around with it. Other than the drive we have some warranty and quick start guide information within the actual box. Since Thunderbolt is still a predominantly Apple interface, the industrial design of the Buffalo Mini Station is mainly Apple inspired. The drive is made of two parts, a single piece aluminium can in which the drive sits and a plastic top which snaps inside this assembly. There's a series of white status LEDs which shine through this rectangular cutout on the bottom front lip which reflects up off of a surface. The indicator light pulses like an Apple power indicator when there's activity and stays solid when it's plugged in. It's a nice take on an external hard disk status LED that I haven't seen done before. Also on the underside are these two small rubber feet which actually aren't part of the aluminium base but make contact with the drive caddy inside. They do a good job of stopping the drive sliding around when it's on your desk. Now at the back of course are the Thunderbolt and USB 3.0 ports on opposite sides of the drive. Part of what makes the Buffalo Mini Station Thunderbolt unique is the inclusion of the USB 3.0 port alongside the Thunderbolt. Going with a Thunderbolt only drive is a difficult prospect to swallow. What happens if your only Thunderbolt packing computer dies for example and you need files on the actual drive? Having legacy interfaces is just something everyone has grown accustomed to and what that usually ends up meaning is that USB needs to be on board. Overall the construction of the mini station is subjectively great, there's not much flex if you squeeze the aluminium side against the plastic lip and it feels solid like a nice solid brick of aluminium in your hand. It has a premium feel which is nice considering the rather hefty price tag. To test these drives I'll be using Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. Both drives are formatted in HFS Plus and both will be tested on the Mac platform. 
Using these interfaces, we should be expecting the same speeds as though the drives were connected internally within the computer itself on a 6 gigabits per second controller. So we see we're achieving read and write speeds just over the 100 meg mark from both interfaces. USB 3 is above and Thunderbolt is below. The reason for this is because we have achieved the maximum possible speed that the hard drive within can possibly supply. Neither the USB 3 or Thunderbolt interfaces themselves cause any bottleneck whatsoever, so we'll get the full hard drive speed no matter which connection interface we choose. Moving on to the SSD, we'll restart the same test. Now I believe the SSD version of the Buffalo Mini Station contains a crucial M4 within, and as we can see the types of speeds we are seeing here are pretty much along those lines. Fantastic high performance that mimics the performance of an internal SSD on a SATA 6 gigabits per second controller. Again we get similar results between both connection interfaces since we are achieving the maximum speed of the drive within without having any bottleneck in the interfaces used. A quick note in regards to these interfaces, remember that since Thunderbolt is in theory twice as fast as USB 3, many drives such as the Drobo 5D I reviewed in a previous video have two Thunderbolt ports so that you can daisy chain devices while still achieving the same high speeds due to the increased bandwidth available with Thunderbolt. The same can't be done with USB 3. Unfortunately, the Buffalo Mini Station doesn't come with two Thunderbolt ports for daisy chaining, but I could, for example, place these at the end of a Thunderbolt chain and still achieve high speeds throughout the entire chain with a single connection to my computer. This is one of the main advantages of Thunderbolt over USB 3. The combination of an Apple reminiscent industrial design and affordable price point and the option for either USB 3 and Thunderbolt as an interface makes it a no-brainer for shoppers with both feet squarely in the Apple ecosystem. Even outside of the Apple ecosystem, users with the new PC motherboards that include Thunderbolt will shortly be looking for drives and enclosures that allow them to use the new interface. In addition, a number of previous drives haven't nearly been as portable as the Mini Station Thunderbolt is in practice, which is a one-piece solution that's powered entirely over either USB 3 or Thunderbolt. Buffalo clearly understands the use of SSDs are required to get the most out of these super speed interfaces. Bear in mind, however, these drives can be opened and you can insert your own higher performing SSD in place of the standard drive it's supplied with. I'll be cracking one of these open very soon and I'll take you through the steps of doing just that to make your ultimate portable external drive. For the moment though, as Apple moves to a platform that's increasingly flash only, albeit with less overall storage, external mass storage will start becoming important once again. Buffalo feels that it's here that they can win with the mini station Thunderbolt for iTunes and video collections that users will stick on external storage. Whether that comes true is still something that remains to be seen. As a drive, however, the mini station Thunderbolt is an excellent device using the current fastest external interface. All we need to see now is that all-important reduction in price. Feel free to leave your thoughts and comments below. In the meantime, why not check out my channel for any related videos and click the logo above to subscribe and be informed of when my next video is released. See you next time on Ifty's Tech Corner.